Yes, uh, <coughs> I would like we uh, now Chinese or something bad sick, you know, what say this sickness? It's a coronavirus. Oh, yes. corona, or corona, coronavirus. Or oh, yeah, but uh, we recite one time, maybe all sick been uh, hope beneficial. Uh, this uh, seven medicine Dharani, this uh, authentic sutra, medicine Buddha, authentic sutra, uh, that uh, have 120 page. This uh, I have taxes. This uh, sutra keep at home also good uh, for air drops, prostration need something uh, portal and uh, also only tax keep at home i have been taxes this uh, the authentic tax that uh, uh, 2600 years ago shakyamuni buddha uh, he he is homeless you know he have no home because uh, he is sleeping under a tree and uh, he has one attendant, uh, his cousin, Ananda. Ananda, his cousin, you know. Ananda don't want to become monk, but uh, the, the Buddha became enlightened. Buddha said, now you need my attendant. He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to become monk. <laughs> then, okay, Buddha said. Then he said, if really you need me attendant, then you need uh, commitment from me. Yeah, okay, Buddha said. He said, I say you die, then you die. If I say not die, you not die. Buddha said, okay. You are Rest food never give me, okay? Your rest food. Oh, oh like your, your leftovers. Don't ever give me your leftovers. Yeah, Buddha's uh, food, you know, left is not give me. Uh, uh, without me, not allowed to teach, he said. <laughs> uh, without me, you're not allowed to teach. <laughs> okay, Buddha said. Uh, other one I forgot, no remember. And then <coughs> Buddha, with uh, 500 arhat, go visit in 33 pure land. No, heaven. Heaven. Heaven of the 33. Heaven. Visit mom. Buddha's mom passed away, reborn in 33 realm. Uh, the heaven of the 33 realm God. Buddha, you know, uh, visit 33 heaven. <coughs> and then 500 arahats have miracle, they have uh, realization, can't fly together. But Ananda have no realization. His cousin, you know, attendant one. <laughs> he can't go there. <laughs> he can't go. Uh, then uh, Mongeyana and Ananda, they stay in India. They have summer retreat. Buddha and this five arahats in heaven summer retreat. Three months doing there. Uh, then Buddha not allowed to teach because they have commitment oh. in heaven. Then Buddha not teach Maud. Buddha teach this Ushnika. What is that? Ushnisha, the, the, yeah, the, the top knot. The yeah, top loudly. Knot. They make sound. Then they say white umbrella, deity. You know? White umbrella. These deity. things, Kia Tantra in heaven, they teach Kia Tantras. 
all this uh, teaching from head, uh -huh. teaching from Ushnika, Ushnika. Uh -huh. But mouth, uh, no using uh -huh. Buddha. Huh. Because uh, he had uh, commitment <laughs> from uh -huh. his cousin. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is, uh, yeah, yeah, she, she, uh, anyway, Ananda Mongaya, uh, what's the uh, uh, old man, uh, everything. I, oh, where come from my talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Buddha is homeless. Buddha also teach no uh, at home. Buddha teach outside, under tree, also uh, everywhere he go, then many people coming. So many questions. Buddha, he said, I'm uh, omniscient. 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 Uh, I'm in Latin, he telling Paul, you know, uh, fearlessly telling. Uh, demon, God, scholar, everything check me. I'm omniscient or not omniscient. I'm, I'm in Latin or not in Latin. Uh, check me, check me. He telling Paul, uh, fearless Paul sentence. I know suffering of root. I know how to become cessation. Uh, if you have criticized, you criticize me. If uh, you uh, so pulled, you tell me pulled. Then many scholars coming. Many scholars come. Most Hindu and Jainism scholar or Shari Potter Mongayanas. A very old monk, Jainism monk. They are 70 years old. Buddha is 35 years old. Yeah, they have so many questions. You know, keep everything satisfied, their philosophy. Also, Mahakashapa, this, uh, they have so many scholars, different philosophy, they uh, question. Buddha give very satisfied. satisfied. Uh, then they became Buddha's uh, disciple. Oh, they like uh, go him together. They listen. Also, many people they, they just ask, "Where is my house? How much I have my house family? How many people? What is the name?" Everything he telling, then they believe. <laughs> Nothing to say, criticize. You know, everything telling. Also, baby, he give food, poison food, Buddha. He eat, but baby is thinking he have no clear boys. He eat poison food. But tomorrow, no, no problem. Same. Then baby say, sorry, I did this. Food. Then he became monk. <laughs> Pepe became monk. <laughs> Pepe is Jainism. Mm. He is mm. very jealous one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, he has so many checked. But um, yeah, then that time uh, no Buddhist terminology. They say following Buddha. Following Buddha, these people, these scholars uh, followed uh, Buddha, but no Buddhist name. Then Buddha uh, name hub became Buddhist. They say later their nickname. <laughs> <laughs> then they say Buddhism. Yeah. That I think uh, Western people make uh, them Hindi Zim or Zim something <laughs> say, <laughs> but. Uh, Know that uh, that time no Buddhist name. Mahatma Gandhi say, uh, uh, "What say? Hindus? Uh, he is Hindus uh, family. 
but no Hindu tradition, father respect him, but uh, Hindu tradition, son respect uh, father, but father respect him. No Hindu tradition, but Hindus good things all he took, then he teach. And so Buddhist is include Hindu. Mahatma Gandhi said, <laughs> if Buddhist develop, Hindu develop. He said that I read his biography. <laughs> Anyhow, Buddha like that, Buddha like that. That uh, he go near Bodhgaya, one medicine forest. There go many people came and meditate, very silent. Buddha like meditate, silent. Then Manjushri, Buddha, 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 Bodhisattva Manjushri, he do respect, bow, 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 bow. 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 Yeah. And he said, future, uh, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years uh, later, so many problems coming, many sickness, many farming, farming, no food, what's that, farming? Oh, uh, famine. famine. Famine, yeah, no rain, not growing. Uh, so many war, so many people die. But uh, you have some idea, some advice or blessing, something ad ask Buddha. And Shakyamuni said, oh, you are great compassion. Good question. Yes, I will invite uh, seven medicine Buddha. Uh, they have something idea. He Immediately invite. Immediately seven Buddhas came. Then they are chatting, you know, amazing. Then each medicine Buddha say, I have uh, previous life. I was Bodhisattva that time. I did uh, a special poor prayer for living being. Once I have eight prayer. One say I have twelve prayer, different training. Also, yeah, that telling. And Shakyamuni Buddha, he was he will do also five hundred prayer for future sentient being. Then they draw, they, that man, then that uh, uh, Dharani. Dharani means uh, concentration power. Mantara means, uh, uh, Mantara means, uh, you know, uh, man means uh, India, Sanskrit language, mind. Man, Tara means protect, mind protect. Mantara means mind protect. Dharani means uh, some energy you know, concentration, energy, healing, and uh, also truth uh, power. If I'm true, uh, that, 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 uh, you know, for example, long ago in Tibet, in Lhasa, Lhasa always have summertime, some big river problem, you know, big water come. Flood. Huh? Flood. Wow, too yeah. much water, yeah, yeah. flood. Then nothing to do. That time, Garden Tipa, Gilu Garden Tipa, that uh, Jemalampa, that's uh, Jemalampa, his name. Everybody say Jemalampa have Bodhicitta. He have already Bodhicitta. That's, uh, then they ask him, oh, what, is, what shall we do? This big river coming. Then Jim Melamba say, one paper need. And he say, he writing, I have bodhicitta that is true, 
river go well, that put in riverside, put on the stone. Only that. Then they put this letter, river go well. That is true power. He have true power, many, many stories. Yeah. Power of truth. Power of truth. Of truth. Yeah. This is Dharani. Seven medicine together telling if that take morning at my and bishop and this residing 49 or 100 best 1008 big power they say big power but uh, I don't believe uh, because uh, some mentor has said, seven times do, then uh, poo poo, and uh, blow. Blow. then go, insects die, they reborn heaven, they say. Uh, I think not true. Uh, uh, true, but not enough. Also, some mentor has said, the text is put here, or then go fire, no burn, or some mentors go in the river, not caring. Uh, they checked in donkey here, the mentor, and donkey passed away, <laughs> <laughs> carrying big river. Uh, why that? Uh, if really need power, we need uh, uh, realization. If realization have uh, compassion, uh, bodhicitta, directly see emptiness, or we we have uh, generous, uh, tantra generous uh, generosity, statement, generation state. huh? oh. generation state. statement, or complete statement, Completion state. there is something level that people read one time immediately uh, walk. But we have no much compassion, no much wisdom. Read maybe very poquito, <laughs> very little, maybe no much power. But uh, it depends your realization. Uh, anyway, this is a holy mantra. Uh, I would like we do this uh, for sick people, illness, uh, remove. You imitate me, uh, then uh, I tell the Sanskrit, try perfectly pronunciation, you imitate me, okay? I think don't need to repeat that, it's uh, too okay. much, yeah. That's okay. Uh, namo. Namo. Retna. Retna. Tariyaya. Tariyaya. Namo. Namo. Bhagavate. Bhagavate. Aparti. Aparti. Hata. Hata. Bekhadze. Bekhadze. Rajaya. Rajaya. Teata. Teata. Om. Om. Savatata Gata. Savatata Gata. Hum. Hum. Gume Gume. Gume gume. Imini mihi. Imini mihi. Mati mati. Mati mati. Sapta tata gata. Sapta tata gata. Sapta means India, seven. Sapta means. Tata gata means uh, Buddha. Seven Buddha, they say. Sapta tata gata. Sapta tata gata. Samadaya. Samadaya. Samadaya means concentration. Shamata, they say. They say samadaya. Samadaya. Dictate means power. Samadaya. Dictate. Dictate. Yeah. Samadaya. Dictate. Samadaya. Dictate. Ate mate. Ate mate. Pale papam. Pale papam. Shodani. Shodani. Sawa papam. Sarva papam. Nashaya. Nashaya. Papam means negative karma. Uh, mama. Mama. Bude. 
Pude. Budo. Budo. Tatame. Tatame. Umekome. Umekome. Buda. Buda. Chetarpari. Chetarpari. Shodane. Shodane. Damene. Dame. Damene. Dame. Meru. 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 Shikare. Meru. Shikare. Sawa Akala. Sawa Akara. Mirtayu. Mirtayu. Niwarani. Niwarani. Buda. Buda. Subuda. Subuda. No, no, no. Subude. Subude. Buda. Buda. Adiktana. Adiktana. Adikchitena. Adikchitena. Rakentume. Rakentume. Sawadewa. Sawadewa. Same. Same. Asame. Asame. Samanawa. Samanawa. Harentume. Harentume. Sarwa. Sarwa. Buddha. Buddha. Buddhisatawa. Buddhisatawa. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. Parsha mentume. Parsha mentume. Sawa. Sawa. Sawa means all. Sarwa. Sarwa. Itayu. Itayu. Padarpa. Padarpa. Bayadaya. Bayadaya. Purani. Purani. Supurani. Supurani. Purayame. Purayame. Sawa ashai. Sawa ashai. Binduria. Binduria. Pati base. Pati base. Sawa papam. Sawa papam. Chayankari soha. Chayankari soha. Om. Om. Bekaze bekaze. Bekaze bekaze. Ma bekaze bekaze. Maha bekaze bekaze. Raja samungate soha. Raja samungate soha. Thank you. That is a puja for sick people, sick being. Oh, sorry. Now we. Uh, that Dhamma Datu, what say it? Mm. Uh, Nagajuna, Pao, mm. this uh, Dhamma Datu. Uh, yes, uh, that is. Uh, What say? Uh, we we little bit recognize uh, Damadatu. This morning uh, we t uh, told this uh, Damadatu. Yeah, that is uh, we have that Damadatu. Uh, you know, uncontaminated mind. Uh, Bare medially pure mind. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, bare medially pure mind. Uh, that mind uh, is uh, existing, all living being. That mind is a uh, uh, you know, mm, uh, that mind is also uh, high yoga tantra, high yoga tantra, uh, high yoga tantra is very high, all teachings very high, uh, typically do everybody. But that why high, they recognize this pure medially pure mind, or that pure enlightened mind, or <laughs> pure medially pure mind. That how to using this technique they have. Uh, High yoga tantra. High yoga tantra. Uh, they're telling, uh, you know, every mind with 
uh, have wind, wind. Every mind have wind. Also, wind is uh, looks like airport, joyful airport. Joyful effort. Uh, only three element, very lazy, you know, uh, earth and water, fire. They are not not moving, but wind makes then everything moving. You know, joyful airport makes everything activity. Uh, joyful airport kind of uh, the, the wind. <laughs> <laughs> but big, uh, what is a science job maybe. <laughs> science people it's, job. It's, yeah, it's the job of science scientists to figure that <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. Every, each mind just have, uh, for example, sometimes some meditate, you know, breathing stopped, bottom and mouth, uh, mind not working, mind not much going. If you're breathing, then mind going everywhere. <laughs> 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 that mind need, mind look, uh, wind looks like horse, mind looks like uh, riding human, similar. Uh, yeah, that uh, uh, mind wind uh, wind not like phew, that not look like that gross wind, but very subtle. Uh, but even subtle wind, subtle mind, no different. They say if subtle mind, subtle wind you believe uh, different, that is the root of samsara, they say, satyapa, uh, tantra. Uh, anyway, um, uh, this subtle mind, subtle wind, uh, because then high yoga tantras have wind, wind yoga. Wind is going, da, 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 da. And wind control and mind easily control. But sutara, just we handle, we try uh, mind, shamatha and upasana and so many kind of meditation. We try mind, 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 difficult. Listen, mind is look like bad children, similar. Never listen, mom talking, you know, but <laughs> mind is a difficult uh, control. But mind together, wind, wind control, mind automatically control. That is a, mm, yeah, technique, high yoga tantra. That is, you know, Primarily, pure mind with wind, they recognize that how to practice that, that, that is very dangerous. They, they, they need uh, experience. So, therefore, sec secret tantra, they say. Secret. Secret. Yeah. Everybody can't do that, need master, uh, uh, what's the experience. Master's experience, you do that, you do, then okay. But you just try danger, you become crazy maybe. <laughs> anyway, that uh, uh, clear light mind or Dhammadhatu, that is very, very important for Tantra also. Yeah. Uh, uh, very important must to recognize. If not recognize, you are always samsara, always samsara. Therefore, they telling you know, uh, Mahmunda and Dzogchen, they are telling this teaching. They say Mahmunda very high, Dzogchen very high. 
something kala chakra very high. This this introduction or this this uh, training. So Nagarjuna said this all living beings have a luminous mind or clear light uh, purity mind. So he said that is I, I bow uh, this this mind. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that is uh, yeah. First one, first uh, verses. Thank you. You tell me. So, uh, so Geshe is explaining the first verse, and uh, Geshe Lev is saying that we can already, like we talked about this morning, we can already recognize a little bit of. Dharma Datu, especially in terms of the uh, most subtle mind, the clear light mind that we all have within us. And then we talk about uh, the highest Yoga Tantra teachings, and it's, it's universally kind of acknowledged that the highest Yoga Tantra teachings, they have the highest teachings of all, the most difficult teachings of all. And what makes them the highest teachings and the most difficult teachings is that they have the method in them for working directly with this most subtle mind. You know, for, for recognizing it and then for using it in our practice. And the most subtle mind is always together with uh, what is often translated as wind. It's m more like energy or, or just movement in itself, like physical movement. Um, those two are inseparable. Uh, in fact, uh, the, the sh uh, Shakya Tantra um, apparently says that Thinking that most subtle mind and most subtle wind are different, that in itself is the root of samsara. Um, so in Highest Yoga Tantra, there are teachings on how to use uh, this wind or this energy uh, directly, how to gain control over it. Because once you have control over the energy, you know, the, the energy associated with uh, consciousness, in your body, then you can control the mind very easily. In Sutra, we uh, only talk about working from the side of the mind with shamatha, with vipassana, and uh, as we, if any of us who have ever tried could, could testify, that's very hard. You know, the mind is like an unruly child, it, it won't listen, you know. Um, but if we can use these methods from uh, Highest Yoga Tantra to control the energy, then we have easy control over the mind. However, it's very dangerous. These are very dangerous practices. Uh, if you just try to jump in and just try to do it on your own, it, it can be very dangerous. You could easily go crazy. So these teachings for that reason are kept secret. It's called Secret Tantra. The idea being that you can't just read a book about it because then there's a risk that you would try to practice it and hurt yourself. You have to receive it directly from a tantric master, from a teacher, who will give you specific instructions and tell you do this, don't do that, and so on. Um, so if we can, uh, when we recognize the most subtle mind and the most subtle energy, the most subtle wind, then uh, we are free from samsara. As long as we don't recognize them, we are in samsara. And so again, that is why Nagarjuna uh, bows, prostrates to the most subtle mind, to the Dharma Datu. Oh yes, uh, we res respect all living beings. They have Dharma Datu. Also, Uttar say, we respect all living beings. Living beings also eight verses, uh, eight verses maintaining. He said, uh, all living being like wish, wish fulfilling jewel. Yes. Means like, uh, you know, they have uh, Damadatu. Damadatu is a wish fulfilling jewel. <laughs> yeah, if we teach them, they became very beneficial person. That is uh, also uh, jewel. I never saw, but this uh, in dirty uh, stone, then make clean, and then became light and very very successful. Similar 
people have uh, damadatu, but they don't know they are attachment, they anger, jealousy, but they teach, they take uh, antidote, they practice, they become very beneficial person. So therefore, similar is wish, wish fulfilling jewel. So therefore, mm, we respect all living being. That is have reason. Uh, we not just respect. We understanding they have uh, dhamma dhatu. They have Buddha nature. They have gutara. They have tathagata garba. Uh, tathagata means Buddha. Garba means uh, yeah. Womb. Huh? Womb. Is it like womb, like uh, where baby lives? No. No. Garba means uh, tata gaba. <laughs> tata gata garba. Uh, garba means uh, yeah. Uh, gui garba. Gui samaja. Gui garba. Uh, Essence. Essence. Yeah, essence. essence. Garba means, Gui uh, Garba means uh, essence. Uh, gui means uh, Gunaya. Gunaya means uh, quality. Quality uh, come from essence, origin. Quality uh, Gunaya. Then, uh, for example, Guru. Guru means, uh, Gu means uh, Gunaya. Quality 10 or 20 or something niche. Gunaya. Gu. Gu. Gunaya. Ru. Ruruchale. Need compassion. Guru means uh, quality uh, that, that, that and need compassion. And then Guru. <laughs> Not only beer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, gu, gui garba, gui garba, yeah, guna, uh, gunaya, but that's Sanskrit language. Uh, yeah, very good, but I don't know much Sanskrit. That, uh, uh, esen, esen, uh, gutara, mm, also gutara. Gutara means, uh, gu means, uh, Opportunity, yeah, it's okay. Like tata uh, gata uh, garba, garba means essence. Uh, Buddha nature, tata gata garba, but nature essence different. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Uh, Buddha essence better. Buddha nature better. We check. Buddha essence, I like yeah. Well, that tata gata means Buddha. Uh, garba means essence, but English say nature. Yeah. I don't know that. Uh, my understanding not enough. <laughs> this is a scholar's job. Can, can I ask? It? Yeah, the, thank you. Essence is it like ice? And water, the water is the essence of the ice, like no. similar? No, 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 essence, essence. No, yes, but like for example, mm. for example, if you have ice, yeah. the water, yeah. you know, the water that freezes, the water is the essence of the ice, similar or, or not? I don't understand oh. what okay. you were saying. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, it's so complicated. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. Like uh, that, uh, all living beings have. A little bit of understanding, they want it happy, don't want it suffering. I already mentioned. That is like logic. They have Buddha nature. Why they want it happy, don't want it suffering? That is wonderful, no wrong. But uh, which happy they want it, then they ignorant. Which suffering they uh, wanted to give up, then they don't know which suffering give up, which happy. 
then ignorance coming, you know, ignorance. But this mind, uh, uh, what say, uh, luminous, uh, what say, clear, Uh, what say, clear, uh, yes, this mind is like uh, clear and knowing, clear light, clear knowing, because uh, that is a uh, Uh, if no, uh, without uh, delusion, everything no, omniscient, you know, clear knowing. That is this uh, like ent entity, entity, you know, entity like entity. That. This mind's entity, yes. this uh, yes. Yes, purity it's... mind's entity. This. Clear uh, knowing, or oh, purity, or oh, like that, uh, like knowing, and uh, uh, this definition looks like no beginning, no end, never disappear, never contaminated. That is uh, like definition, this mind. Mind entity and definition uh, also, um, I don't know, then don't remember. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, also nature mind. Say, uh, Inherent, inherent, inherent. nature. Uh, yeah, this mind how looks like this quality. No, no contaminate. You know, uh, if this come out, then everything knowing. Uh, also, no beginning, no end. That uh, like nature. Nature. Yeah. Also, if you don't recognize you are samsara, if you are recognize you are nirvana, that is also like this characteristic or nature or I don't know uh, how to fix it. <laughs> like a like a defining defining yeah, yeah. characteristic. Mind. Of it. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Nagarjuna postation. This mind. How looks like. How looks like that clear knowing. And also no beginning, no end, never contaminate. You know, always good. Uh, they say, Dzogchen say, Samantha Badara. Mm -hmm. Samantha Badara, uh, they say, Rigpa. Rigpa means yokiri, yokiri. Yeah, samenta bada means always good. Samenta bada bada is something say that samenta 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 bada mind. <laughs> samenta bada mind. Mm -hmm. Also, samenta bada means this mind. That uh, subject. Samantha body means uh, object, emptiness. Emptiness is a uh, woman, and uh, uh, that uh, subject, uh, wisdom, pure wisdom, like man. They are, what say, couple, what say? Embracing, uh, they're in union. Oh, un in union. Union, or like the, the, the some same tankas painting, but that is not really human. <laughs> that is mind. <laughs> Just uh, making the painting, you know. 
uh, like men, women together, uh, they have uh, each other happy. How, how they exciting, you know. Uh -huh. Similar uh, purity mind recognize emptiness directly. How happy they look like that. That they're therefore they're painting funny, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> also, Gilu uh, tend they 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 say uh, mother and son uh, meet because long term son couldn't see mom, mom uh, can't see uh, father, mama ma, mother mother. Then you know mother missing her son. Uh, son missing mom, many months, many years. One day they meet. How happy that looks like. Mom is uh, like subject, son like object, similar. Yeah, that uh, whatever you using that uh, the, the explanation. The, 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 you must say Samantha Badara Badri. They make one. Blue one man and a white one woman. <laughs> that, that, that is no human. That is a uh, subject object, uh, luminosity mind. You know, uh, uh, that is uh, like this uh, clear light, uh, clear light uh, knowing or mind. That is uh, like Buddha nature or that. Uh, Nagarjuna respect this. Like, you know, no beginning, no end, never disappear. That is one uh, inherent or natural. Yeah, innate. Uh, natural. Yeah. Also, if recognize this mind and you become Nirvana. If you don't recognize then this mind together, ignorant come, always deluded, deluded. If don't recognize that is root, look like root of samsara. If re recognize uh, it's root of Buddha, look like that. That is all living being have. So therefore we must to recognize how to wake up, how to using, that is important. That, uh, that text, uh, uh, what's uh, introduction, inter interview, introduction. Introduction. Yeah, like that. that yeah, thank you. Tell, uh, you understand, you keep all, everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so in prostrating to the Dharma Datu, we're really we're prostrating to all beings because all beings have Dharma Datu. Uh, like it says in um, the Eight Verses of Mind Training that uh, all sentient beings are like wish-fulfilling jewels, which is, um, which is a figure in, uh, in Indian kind of um, folklore and mythology. It's maybe similar to Aladdin's lamp, which is something that can grant all our wishes. You know, but just like a jewel, you know, you have to kind of get it from the ore. So when you have it, it's like a jewel in the rough and it, it's dirty and you don't see it doesn't reflect anything. And then you have to clean it and polish it. And then when you hold it up to the light, it reflects everything. In the same way, the mind, uh, when it's covered with uh, the delusions, with the, uh, you know, um, uh, adventitious uh, defilements, it doesn't reflect everything. It's very limited. But once you clean it, once you purify it, once you get all of that junk out of it, then it can reflect everything. It's omniscient. It knows everything. And, um, and so that is what's often translated in, in English as Buddha nature. But Geshe-la was saying maybe it would be even better to say Buddha essence. You know, uh, it's the essence of the mind. You know, so the mind that uh, Nagarjuna is prostrating to uh, has three types of uh, defining characteristics. The first is that it's clear and knowing. Uh, the second is that it has no beginning, 
it has no end, and it has never been polluted, ever. And the third is that one of its defining characteristics is that if you recognize it, then you're, you're out of samsara, you're, you're on the road to Buddhahood, and if you don't recognize it, you are in samsara. Um, and the, the experience of, um, of the mind recognizing the nature of the mind, so to speak, uh, it's, depic it's depicted with different uh, analogies, with different metaphors. So one common one that you might see is of, a, is of two deities sitting in union, as if it were a sexual union. Uh, and that's not an image, it's not supposed to represent an image of two human beings in union. It's supposed to represent uh, the, the female figure represents uh, the object, which is the emptiness, and the male figure represents the subject, which is the clear light mind, and it's the union of those two things with awareness uh, of themselves. And uh, it's supposed to represent the, the bliss of that union. Um, so that's what that represents. In the Geluk tradition, there's a different analogy that's used, which is of a mother and son who have been apart for a very, very long time and who have been missing each other very much, finally meeting each other again. And when they see each other, when they recognize each other, it's like coming home, it's that bliss, it's that joy. That's what it's like for us to recognize uh, the nature of uh, Dharma Datu. Um, and so it's said again that failing to recognize that keeps us in samsara, and recognizing that takes us to Buddhahood. Can, may I ask a question, Geshe-la? Yeah. A question? If uh, we don't recognize hmm? Dharma Datu, we're in samsara. Yes. Uh, if we recognize Dharma Datu, we're enlightened. Yeah? Uh, recognize, uh, then you know, take them till realization, okay. you know. Okay. Uh, if recognized, then you have a big change in your right. mind. What about, what about uh, Arhat, near, just Nirvana? You know, not samsara, not enlightenment, just, uh, you know, um, Arhat, Shravaka, you know. Arhat, yeah, yeah, Nirvana. Arhat. What is that, how does that fit? Do they, do they recognize the oh, mind? They're, no? they're not recognized, okay. but they uh, give up uh, delusion. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 yeah, yeah, they're not uh, this teaching, this not mm -hmm. practicing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they became cessation, free from samsara, mm -hmm. free from suffering, mm -hmm. only that. Mm -hmm. That level. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, yeah, now we'll read better, I think. Uh, Nagajuna bore that, that mind, that uh, uh, all living beings have that respect have hope. All living being by you born. We have hope. We have Tathagata Garba. We have <laughs> really good quality. All living beings have good quality. We have hope that wants to, to know, to recognize. Otherwise, we always pushing. Ah, me, impossible. You know, like laziness, yesterday I told, oh, I have no hope, I have no hope. Have hope, because you are human, one hand, you, you have uh, this Tathagata Garba. You can wake up, you can, yeah, yeah. The, the, the human have more opportunity. If animals, insects, they have Tathagata Garba, but uh, uh, real problem, real problem, you, they are must uh, reborn human, then possible. Even God, demigod, uh, very high realm, but in, in Latin impossible, must uh, reborn human. That is uh, human 
precious human, what's that? Precious human rebirth. Yeah, that is uh, really meaning like that. Precious human. Uh, precious human boy. Yeah. Now I read the uh, second one. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, please, you read this big first one. What they say? The, the first one? Oh, per, the, you read this Dhamma Tattu. So it says. Uh, Beginning, I, what they say? It's in, in the first one says, I bow to you, the Dharma Dhatu, who resides in every sentient being. But if they aren't aware of you, they circle through this triple being. And then the second one? Yes. The second one. one says, due to just that being purified, what is such circling's cause? This very purity is then nirvana. Likewise, dharmakaya is just this. Oh, yes. That's you understanding this. This understands for me. <laughs> Pero <Perot. laughs> Second one, you okay? They, they say Tibetan say Kanshi Kove Yurjuba. Dini Jangba Chebale. Tahwa Dini Yangen de Shuji Guyang Dini To. That is Dharmakaya, they say. They say? Yes, that oh, yeah. Dharmakaya is just this. Yeah. If we don't recognize, then looks like this causes of samsara that uh, because uh, this mind together uh, mind emptiness mind with together ignorant if we don't recognize our mind and mind and mind's ultimate situation emptiness not yet recognized. That is ignorant. Uh, ignorant, if we mind uh, don't recognize, that is beginning a first ignorant. Then ignorant uh, makes then uh, attachment, anger, jealousy, all comes from uh, ignorant. Yeah, yeah, ignorant, uh, but beginning have no attachment, angry, uh, jealousy, no, no. That not to recognize, that is ignorant. Ignorant then become bigger, bigger, you know, then so many different types. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we must to recognize subject, luminous mind, object, uh, luminous emptiness subject luminous object luminous that is uh, a Tantar also telling abhidhamma alankara also same sentence coming yeah yeah uh, if don't recognize that is a uh, causes of samsara such of us have a special ex explanation there. Uh, holiness say subject, object, uh, clear, or luminosity. Uh, yeah. Mm, that need purification. Purification, negative karma, purification, delusion. In this case, purification, delusion. Purification, negative karma is uh, something bhaktis, you know, prostration and mantra and something sorry bhaktis. Then I, I did mystic, then I say sorry, that is a uh, purification practice, you know. But uh, delusion, uh, ignorant pur uh, purification practice, not easy. You need 
analytical meditation, single point meditation. Uh, too hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me move. <laughs> Let me move. Do you want to move out of the sun? Oh, it's okay. Thank you. oh yeah. Uh, yeah. How to cure vacation? Uh, a purify that is a, what's a nirvana. Great nirvana means Buddha or Dhammakaya. Uh, that our mind purify, then that is Dhammakaya. That is Dhammakaya, not a new one coming. Also, Nagarjuna is a student, Nagabudi. Nagabudi is still alive in India. Chodai Rinpoche told me. <laughs> Today? Now? Uh, yeah, still alive. Wow. I don't know he is long alive. You know. He is a beggar, you know, some way. Uh, Chodai Rinpoche, we chatting, Chodai Rinpoche said, still alive. I don't know that. <laughs> I say when I go, this, uh, I'm, I was teacher, always go to the monastery, uh, two hours, one hour to go there. This is bus station, have one old man, white beard, white hair, Always there. I don't know. I said this is Nagabudi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He not ask money. He just stay. Always there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Nagabudi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we never know. Eighty four Masida. Some alive. Also in Tibet, Tupchen uh, Chu Doji. He uh, ends up as a master, you know. He also cared Tantra practice. He got a uh, thousand year uh, visa. <laughs> 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 he got a thousand year visa. <laughs> he not died. <laughs> but but uh, ends up uh, he meet. Uh, he sometimes going beggar, very bad clothes. And uh, you know, simple monk, very old one, they're going, they say. Then Ensapa recognized him. He also recognized Ensapa. Ensapa, mm -hmm. a special man, you know. Ensapa, he did with Samaja retreat, and uh, after with Samaja retreat, he speak Sanskrit influence. Influence. Uh, fluently. Fluently. Influent. Influently. Flu fluently. Influently. <laughs> Influently. Because then Sachapa say he's Gilupa ghost, Gilupa demon. Demon? Oh. Yeah, he never go in India. He never met India man, but he speak India, everything perfectly. Oh. Maybe this is a demon. Uh. <laughs> anyway, Ensapa is a special man and recognize this Masida. And they give a lot of teaching, a lot of teaching. Ensapa find this old monk's teaching. Then they have Ensapa tradition, many Ensapa's tradition, you know. That, anyway, where, where come from my <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Naga Buddhi. Naga Buddhi say uh, Buddha and uh, Dhammakaya, not else coming. Uh, Buddha, you became Buddha. How do you become Buddha? Uh, Buddha not coming, you are new one. Dhammakaya not coming outside, not coming. 
Already you have, Nagabuddhi said, not outside, you have the Dhamma Kaya, you have Buddha. That's Nagabuddhi's explanation. Yeah, yeah. That's true, yeah, that's true. It became enlightened. Yeah, like that. It must need purification. Must need purification. Purification also too. Negative purification easy, but delusion purification more hard. You need uh, antidote, temporary antidote. You need ultimate antidote. Then you possible became uh, uh, Dhamma Datu became Dhammakaya. Dhammakaya, Dhamma Datu, no different. What different, uh, you know, nature, purity, and uh, adventitious uh, dirties. Defi defilements, it's another word for dirty. I, I, uh, uh, stain, 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 yeah. Uh, type of stain, well, I don't know, it's adventitious because uh, uh, dirty means a nickname, you know, this uh, delusion name. Yeah, dirty. Uh, yeah, we call delusion, attachment, anger, jealousy, this ignorance, and that uh, we call dirty. Uh, then uh, what do we do uh, washing? Uh, we washing permedially pure mind. What say that? <laughs> purity mind. Yeah. But purity mind always purity. Pure, pure, but uh, you rec not recognize, you know. You not recognize, then they're ignorant, and then uh, attachment, then deluded, then samsara. You not recognize uh, Dhammadatu, you not recognize Dhammadatu, you not recognize uh, uh, only how to call. I need term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ignorant, then attachment, many delusion. Delusion. Each delusion need antidote. Meditation. Uh, recognize. Ultimate antidote like selflessness view, self uh, phenomena, what's that? Selflessness Self of phenomena. Emptiness, emptiness yeah. Emptiness. Phenomena. Yeah, yeah. Emptiness uh, need. Uh, uh, also, uh, if you uh, quickly, you need um, generous statement, practice. Complish, complete generation stage, stage and completion yeah, stage. Yeah, yoga. Then quickly uh, purify. Yeah, uh, their technique. Their, uh, but we purify usually we take antidote, uh, meditate uh, selflessness, meditate emptiness. Uh, only uh, fighting. Uh, only. Uh, purify mind, you know, mind. But this generous statement, this also wind uh -huh. making perfect. Wind yoga, then very quickly. Wind control, mind automatically control. Then this is a big technique, you know, big technique. Uh, yeah, th that need uh, how to call object 
to be purified. Object to be purified. Object, which one? This bare uh, media, the pure mind. They have no deity, but we don't recognize this purify. This purify. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yes, uh, uh, if purified, then you are nirvana, you are uh, dhammakaya. Only this is dhammakaya. Yeah, thank you for telling sure. this second one ex sure. explanation. Sure. S second uh, one. <laughs> so, right now there's three things that are together. There's um, the primordially pure mind. There's the emptiness of that mind, which is the nature of that mind, but there's also ignorance. But what is that ignorance? That ignorance is nothing more, nothing less than us not recognizing the first two, not recognizing the primordial mind and the purity of that mind. And when we recognize the primordial mind and the purity of that mind, then that ignorance is gone, you know, and then... Um, and then the, uh, the adventitious stains, you know, are removed. And, um, and that, you know, when we get to that, then what we're left with is just a pure mind and the emptiness of that mind. And that in itself is Dharmakaya. Um, right now, what we have, we can call Dharmadhatu. And at that point, what we'll have, we can call Dharmakaya, which is the mind of the Buddha, but Dharmakaya and Dharmadhatu, are, they're really the same thing. The only difference is that one is free of ignorance, one kind of recognizes its own uh, luminosity and its own emptiness, and the other doesn't. So it's not like we need anything else from the outside. So then the question is, how do we get rid of the ignorance? Right? The ignorance, we analogize it to dirt, you know, as if there's, a, again, a jewel and there's dirt covering that jewel. So first of all, the object to be purified would be the jewel. What is it that we're cleaning is the jewel. We're cleaning it of the dirt. So in this case, the object to be purified is the Dharma Dhatu. It's the mind and its emptiness. And what we're cleaning it of is uh, the delusions, right? And so to do that, we practice purification practices. But there's two types of purification practices. There's purification of negativities and there's purification of delusions. Purification of negativities is fairly simple. Geshe uh, Lab was saying, it's, it's, he calls it sorry practice. You know, it's like apologizing, as it were. Like you make a mistake and you regret it and you practice the purification. You do prostrations, you recite mantras, and you've purified the negativities. Now, purifying the delusions is more difficult. Purifying the delusions requires us to um, to practice analytical meditation and single-pointed meditation, shamatha, to be able to uh, purify the mind. And there's, in fact, even within that, there's two levels of purification. There's a temporary purification, which is by using antidotes, you know, so attachment, we use the antidote of attachment, anger, we use the antidote of anger. But the ultimate purification, the ultimate antidote, is the realization of emptiness. Uh, when we realize emptiness, then we have an ultimate purification of the mind. And then at that point, by practicing the, um, the uh, completion, the, the um, ge thank you, gen generation stage and the completion stage of Hayas Yoga Tantra, then we can very, very quickly finish the process of purification of the mind. Without practicing uh, Hayas Yoga Tantra, what all we all we do, but like what we do is we meditate on, you know, we do meditation, we medita meditate on emptiness, but that's only purifying the, the um, aspect of, of mind itself, the consciousness itself. With Hayas Yoga Tantra, in addition to doing that, we're also purifying the energy, the energy when the physical side of things, so that we can have a lot more control over it, because when we have control over it, then we can control our minds very easily. So again, the object to be purified is Dharma Datu, and once that is purified, that in itself is Dharmakaya. The Dharma Datu itself is never dirtied, 
like in, in its essence, you know, it's uh, if you think about the diamond and the dirt, the diamond itself is the diamond. It doesn't need to have anything added or subtracted. All we're doing is we're removing the dirt from on top of it so we can see it and recognize it. Oh, thank you. <coughs> that, uh, uh, that mind, uh, like clear light, that is a basic mind. Uh, also, Tantra say, which one basic mind? Uh, you heard that dead person. We dying them, then, you know, all elements observe. You know, then different signs come, and, you know, earth, earth energy losing, then fire, wind, fire, and water, and fire, wind, energy go inside. Also, gross mind, to say, you know, five senses, uh, energy go inside, like sleeping, similar. Sleeping time also, five senses uh, close, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, then, uh, you know, empty, uh, uh, what's that? very empty, uh, completely empty, uh, what's that? Everything empty, like poor empty, different emptiness, you can see that. Uh, that term, then in the end, you know, then all gross minds, temporary minds, observe, 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 in uh, clear light mind uh, that everybody have, every living being have diet and also sleeping them. Maybe deep sleeping have that. <laughs> Everything you observe. Uh, yeah, that is basic, basic, basic uh, Dhammadatu. Basic Dhammadatu. Then part Dhammadatu, we practice, meditate, uh, impermanent. We um, analyze selflessness and emptiness. That, uh, that thing uh, doing practice, that is uh, then uh, part time, part, uh, you know, Dhammadatu. Partial? Part. Uh, road or part. Oh, okay, part, partial, partial yeah. dharma. Yeah, yeah, part. Basic, oh, 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 part. Path, path, part, part, yeah. path, yes, part. path. And then directly see emptiness, directly see mind, subject, object, then that is uh, not yet Buddha, but then, then result, result dharma dhatu. That's Different, uh, different time. What's that? Different Levels. occasions. Levels. Yeah, occasions. Occasions. Different term or yeah, yeah. Basic term. How looks like, and part term. How looks like, and result term. How looks like this uh, uh, damadatu. Uh, basic term look like. Uh, I mentioned that if that process, you know, that observe, 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 that them um, only, uh, then that is no samsara. This is no samsara. Even Lama Tsongkhapa takes the Gui Samaja, they say, no samsara, no uh, contaminated. In dying time, this mind. Uh, yeah, mm. he said, mm. if Goro's mind uh, using, then subtle minds uh, like uh, 
sleeping. Till there, sleep, look like sleeping. One ch chair or cushion, one chair, uh, two men. He sit, then other one can't sit. Other one sit, other one can't sit. Similar, gross mind arising, luminous mind no arising. They have uh, luminous mind uh, uh, come out or uh, arising, then subtle mind uh, or gross mind all observe, no nothing. But dying time, that uh, luminous time, uh, you know, gross mind all uh, disappear or observe. Uh, yeah, yeah. That mind go next life. Next life. Next life, our gross mind never going. Gorot's body, Gorot's speech, Gorot mind, not going. This energy observe, subtle mind, subtle wind, this subtle wind, subtle mind go next life. How they go, how they push, uh, that is uh, like, you can see 12 limbs, tanka. Buddha make uh, first uh, Buddha's art. They have uh, ignorant, blah, 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 blah. then seven, eight, nine. Yet seven attachment, eight grasping, nine more grasping. Becoming. Uh, huh? Becoming, we call it becoming. Uh, yeah. But uh, like grasping, you know, attachment. Then ten reborn. Uh, uh, that uh, subtle mind, subtle wind going the next life. Without grasping, can't go. Can't go. Next life, no reborn. Our hearts have no attachment, grasping, then not again reborn, because though they renounce all samsara, they don't want samsara. How much they have happy, good quality, good, uh, even our heart is uh, America president, uh, but they don't want, <laughs> they say, I don't do America president. <laughs> They, they say they don't want, they don't want all renounce, renounce, renounce. You know, Arhat already uh, control attachment. Also, uh, Babashika philosophy, attachment is a uh, root of samsara. Without attachment, never reborn. But Bodhisattvas reborn. Attachment renounce, but uh, instead of compassion, great compassion, compassion attachment, uh, uh, like friend, friend, attachment my beneficial, compassion other beneficial, but doing the same job, same same helping, sometimes mixture, you know, sometimes mixture. Sometimes, you know, you love your children and your family, some attachment, maybe 80 percent, maybe 20 percent compassion. <laughs> <laughs> compassion, uh, really loving kindness, no my aim, their aim more important. 100 percent their aim, I help them. My, my beneficial, then this is the attachment, you know, because uh, if uh, he have, then I'm more happy for my beneficial, you know, like, uh, anyway. Uh, 
attachment, attachment, uh, you know, subtle mind and subtle wind, how to go next reincarnation, we die before. Oh, now I'm dying. Oh, very difficult. Don't want to die. Everybody, you know, don't want to die. If I have choice, I became still young, beautiful, handsome, I healthy, I don't want to die. That's coming, you know, attachment. Attachment. But nothing to do, <laughs> nothing to do. You know. <laughs> yeah. But this too much grasping. Still wanted in uh, companion together. Still wanted in samsara. Not wanted escape. They wanted still stay samsara. If if they find opportunity, immediately they say, "I like again samsara." But uh, there no opportunity. But. But attachment, grasping, say, uh, then die. This, this thinking with die. This energy goes pushing your subtle mind, subtle wind. Next life, then you go pado, then deluded, then you looking pada mother, then then you reborn. Also, how to reborn? You are, it depends on your attachment. You like uh, attachment uh, mom, you reborn boy. If you uh, like uh, attached father, you reborn girl. Uh, yeah, that is uh, like uh, the subtle mind, how to reborn, you know. Anyway, too much. Uh, that also important that uh, if you have no grasping, no next life. If you have grasping, sure, you, you want it again next life. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. For subtle minds, you said that the wind, when you die, the wind travels based yeah. on your grasping. If I'm alive and I grasp for a cup, does the subtle wind travel to the cup? Does the energy travel to the cup outside of me, or it only stays inside subtle mind, subtle wind? Mm. If I grasp for a cup, while, while alive, while we are alive, yeah. Does the does the does the wind yeah go out to the object and come back, or does the wind stay inside the body? Uh, subtle mind with together uh, wind, uh -huh. that subtle wind, uh -huh. you mean. Uh -huh. Does it go out and come back during our life while I'm alive? Does it, if, I, if I want that, does, the, does it go and come back? Or does the wind always, is the wind always inside my body? Ah, yeah, yeah. That uh, sometimes, uh, you know, Six Naru Yoga, they have, uh, uh, if we find dead body, dead body, young, young man or young woman or healthy body, the, the tsunami come or something, earthquake or something, they die. But body, no damage. People, person pass away. That kill, make killing, then you meditate, you know. You make poor. Uh, then you you die. The, uh, that body uh, slowly, slowly wake up. Then you are over there. Your body changing. Your body changing. It's a subtle mind and subtle wind going there. That Hindu also have that. Hindu and Buddhist both this can do that. Now, Buddhists, they say this lineage, uh, uh, nothing. But uh, long ago have that. But Hindu still have this. They say you can change your body. Uh, 
but you need courage you must learn that poor. You know, then you can go there. But uh, also your knowledge all over there. But if we die, again, new reborn, knowledge, no. Again, you must learn a school of A, B, C, D, or everything learn. But still you are, you know, karmic imprints have your subtle mind a little bit. That makes it, these children very faster learn. Very you know. faster. Yeah. yeah. But Goro's mind changing, you know. New Goro's mind come, but old knowledge all finish. But subtle mind still there. They have a little bit, what say, karmic imprints or something. That make, uh, yeah, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, you, you, I don't understand your question. No, that's not, okay. not yet no, God. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> English yeah. <laughs> problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that is uh, even we sleeping and uh, dream, lot dream. Good dream, bad dream, then wake up, you know. Then remember, remember, oh, I have this dream, this dream, this dream. Sleeping time, sure they have mind, subtle mind, but they no recognize them. Sleeping time, no recognize, but then wake up, oh, yesterday my dream like that, that, that. If you have no mind, then how to remember? That, that is subtle mind they, they, they have. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know my topics where I'm going. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, that, uh, yeah, basic Dhamma Dhatu, part Dhamma Dhatu, yeah, uh, result Dhamma Dhatu like that, uh, this uh, basic part result. Also, uh, we are a very ordinary person, and we are practitioner, we are high realization, different uh, changing this Dhamma Dhatu. They're telling this di different level Dhamma Dhatu text. If uh, at the moment uh, we have that, but we not recognize, then samsara. That, yeah, the, the, I don't know, you please translate. Sure. <laughs> so, um, so Geshe was explaining first with the process of death. Um, at the time of death, um, as we're dying, the, uh, the uh, energies that we associate with different elements start to absorb, you know, so earth absorbs, the earth energy absorbs into the water energy, which absorbs into the fire energy, into the wind energy. Uh, there are different experiences that we have at each of these points that serve as signals if we, if we know them, to know where we are in the process. And then we go, the dissolutions <coughs> go into uh, the four emptinesses, empty, very empty, completely empty, and the emptiness of everything. And at that time, we have an experience of the clear light mind. And uh, that is, at that time, that mind is not polluted. You know, Lama Tsongkhapa even says that it's not, <coughs> there's no pollution then. The gross mind is polluted, the most subtle mind is not, and th th they can't function at the same time. It's like almost like a game of musical chairs where if there's only one chair and two people, the first person is sitting, the second person can't. The second person is sitting, the first person can't. If gross mind is functioning, then most subtle mind is not, you know, actively functioning, it's dormant, and vice versa. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I clarify, is it functioning and we don't recognize it? Or is it not functioning? When, uh, at, on the basis level, yeah. you know, if, uh, if gross mind is, fun is working, gross mind, yes, yes. is the most subtle mind like sleeping. Like sleeping. 
is it because is it working but we don't recognize it or is it not working uh, not arising not no arising. they're existing right existing but not activity no activity yes yeah but, uh, gross mind activity right uh, but the other one existing never disappear right you know never ever disappear no beginning no end very surety but we no using this we have but no using that is problem no recognize you know yeah <laughs> thank you so that is that's what we call the basis level that's the level that uh, that until we're uh, advanced practitioners that we're all operating on that happens to all living beings then when we start to uh, the, the path level geshala the path level is when we meditate about emptiness uh, yes yes uh, emptiness and uh, the, that kind of meditation you know upon about through whatever uh -huh. that realization uh -huh. Uh -huh. also tantras uh, have that uh, uh, isol isol isolate isolate mind as uh, isolate 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 yes yeah. sulu or say isolate I'm sure uh, only yeah isolate body isolate uh, mind isolate speech you know that means uh, isolate means same end uh, the wind uh, yoga wind yoga only uh, using subtle subtle mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm that uh, meditate you know mm -hmm. no gross mind mm -hmm. that term also part i see part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so uh, so then um when we start to do special meditations including the meditation on emptiness uh, meditations on the four noble truths or in tantra the meditation geshe -la was just explaining uh I, I i suppose isolate mind and isolate when it's uh where where we're working on the mind only on the subtle level then uh dharma dhatu is operating on the path level and then once we have a realization of emptiness a direct perception of emptiness even though we're not enlightened yet at that point we say that dharma dhatu is operating on the resultant level result term yeah beginning result that's the beginning of the resultant level yes um and what else does anybody remember any other part that I left out? I think yes yeah, so, so the text is explaining the test the text explains Dharma Dhatu on uh, on all of its different levels I think yeah yeah that uh, also uh, uh, Every day something meditate also go to that. That how to meditate uh, like shamatha would together, emptiness together, many different level. Beginning their meditation like they say not think about past, past, what say past what we did yesterday what we did last year what we did not think about future i do that i will go there i go there do not think about uh, yeah yeah just now just uh, uh, watch uh, or generate or you are uh, without concept mind non conceptual oh, mind. no conceptual mind uh, no conceptual mind uh, you just uh, meditate that but beginning no good beginning no good you know and slowly slowly uh, gross con concept and subtle concept uh, 
something still conceptual, but uh, like mm, uh, clear light mind, similar copy to one coming. Yeah, that meditate. Slowly, slowly, this uh, became then a real luminous mind. Immediately luminous mind, you can't meditate. You know, instead one, opinion one. Mm -hmm. What's that? Copy to one. Yeah, it's a, a fact. Because uh, if you try your really, your purity mind meditate, never arising, you know, not immediately coming, not immediately arising. Like you just uh, imagining, 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 imagining. Imagining, using your imagination, imagining. Imagination. Just, uh, yeah, like that, purity mind, like that, like that. That meditate. That uh, meditate, then slowly, slowly, you find the experience getting better. Uh, beginning immediately, you have surety, mind, uh, no, no, impossible. You, uh, but slowly, slowly, gross mind stop and till concept, but subtle concept. As then sham get shamata, slowly, slowly, emptiness together, slowly, slowly, then uh, really. Uh, possible, uh, subtle mind. That uh, try every day, uh, very good, that uh, meditation. Uh, watch, uh, you, uh, you, you look your mind. No think about everything. No think about past, future, present. No think about. Only watch, uh, clear knowing mind or purity mind, how it look like, only focus this. But this is instead of concept, but still okay. This slowly, slowly getting better. But reality one then never find you. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Yeah, that, Two minutes, five minutes, you can try every day. This is Dhammada to meditation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very nice. So, um, Geshe is, is recommending that we should try this every day. We could do this Dhammada to meditation every day, um, which is so cool. Uh, where um, in the beginning, what you do is you sit to meditate and you don't think about the past, you don't think about the future, you don't think about what's going on with other people or anything else. You just focus on the clarity and purity of your mind. However, if you actually try to find the clarity and purity of your mind directly, right away, it's just not going to happen. It's just way too big a leap. So it, that, that's not really possible. So what you start with is you start with just a conceptual image. You know, just, you just imagine, use your imagination to imagine the uh, clarity and purity of the mind. And it's, it's replacing one concept with another, the concept that's usually going through our minds anyway. We replace that with another concept, yes. It's a more subtle concept. And by slowly, slowly practicing with that, by developing more and more concentration on that and over time, mixing it with an understanding of emptiness, those things build off of each other, and eventually we will realize the, the subtle mind directly. You know, but we, we start from that. We start uh, by using a more subtle concept, and, and that kind of works its way through to the reality of it. Yes, that is uh, also all this Dalai Lama say, then you are more become intelligent, Slowly, slowly became clear points. Clear points. If good, you something, even outside to doing something, maybe see. <laughs> I hope. Bella, I have a question. Yeah. Clarification on that. Loudly. Yes. Um, 
my question is, is that technique similar to meditating on awareness of awareness? Mm. <laughs> uh, the question is, is, is the meditation that you just explained, Geshe-la, is it, is it similar to meditating on awareness of awareness, consciousness of consciousness? Uh, consciousness. Uh, of consciousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, similar. Like, like your yeah, mind looking mind. Like, like, like. Like, like, like. That, that, that you mean that. My English. <laughs> yeah, mind looking mind. <laughs> yes, that. Uh, yeah, now. Uh, but uh, mind, we need purity mind. At the moment, uh, just opinion mind, meditate, opinion <laughs> mind, you know, but not really. What's uh, that? Yeah, then third one you read one. Oh. I don't know. Oh. So the third verse says, While it's blended with the milk, butter's essence appears not. Likewise, in the afflictions mix, Dharma Datu is not seen. Yeah, yeah, Naga Juna say, uh, if have milk, for example, milk, uh, they have butter, but you can't see butter. Uh, similar, we all living beings uh, have uh, damadatu, damadatu, but. Uh, you can't see Dhammadatu because they are very, very angry and attachment, and but you can't see they are holy. They are, you can't see they are holy being because they have so many delusions. Then you see that is bad people, bad people. They have, but you can't see good people because uh, Dhammadatu can't see. But they have good quality. They have good quality. All living beings have good quality. But uh, you, for example, you can't see butter. You only see ma ma milk. <laughs> Similar. Nagajuna <laughs> uh, say that. Uh, number four. I don't know. Number four. Uh, number four says, once you've cleansed it from the milk, butter's essence is without a stain. Just so, with the afflictions purified, the dharma datu lacks all stain. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, milk. Uh, you can make machine or something. Then separate milk and uh, butter. You can uh, see butter. You, uh, uh, you also practice. You practice, uh, analyze, analyze, you, you know, then uh, you can uh, 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 you can see you can uh, uh, realize it, Dhammadatu, that uh, meaning like that. Meaning, uh, uh, yeah, you translate, okay? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I think that was pretty clear. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That, but I'll just repeat that, um, just like with, even though the, the butter is already in the milk, even before you do anything, but you can't recognize it, but once you process it, you churn it, then you know the, the butter becomes visible within the milk. In the same way, um, the Dharma Datu is in all beings, 
but because it's mixed in with the afflictions, with the delusions and all of that, uh, we don't notice it, you know, but if when we practice, 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 it's like churning the milk and then the essence of Dharma Dhatu becomes very clear. What's the number five or six? Uh, five? Yeah. So, so number five says, uh, just as a lamp that's sitting in a vase does not illuminate at all, while dwelling in the vase of the afflictions, the Dharma Dhatu is not seen. Yeah. For example, candle put in small pot, you know, bath. Uh, you can't see this light, you know, the, uh, the heat, you know, height. Uh, similarly, uh, delusion, uh, mental appellation looks like bath like bars, and the Dhammadhatu look like inside candle. Similar, uh, you can't see, you can't see, just, just samsara, you know, all living beings have the Dhammadhatu, but like in, in bars, uh, candle, similar. Yeah, uh, yeah, you understand it. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's that quite clear. Quite yeah. clear. Yes. Uh, now, number six. Number six says. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, it's yeah. time for yeah, tea. Yeah. <laughs> number six. Number six. Number six says From whichever of its sides you punch some holes into this vase, from just these various places, then its light rays will beam forth. Also, the seven together read. Uh, once the Vajra of Samadhi has completely smashed this vase to the very limits of all space, it will shine just everywhere. Easy, you understand it, maybe. That vase will hold that antidote. Then lights go everywhere, you know, vase. Uh, similar concentration, antidote, and this bars is uh, uh, <laughs> backing, mm -hmm. then light is, uh, go, this uh, uh, Dhammadhatu light is limitless go. Mm -hmm. Like that. <laughs> that text you sometimes read, good, mm -hmm. very holy text.